Hey! I just screamed for some reason. But yes, now I'm going to be applying uh, my new favourite primer, which is the number 7 Shine Free Primer. And um, it's, it's amazing. I'm going to do a review on it. It does have a fault, but I will say that in the review. But it's very good at keeping your face matte, you know, for most of the day. It does, like, withhold shine or stop shine or whatever. Um, and I find it really good for that. So I'm just placing that on the areas of my face that tend to get the most oily, which is the centre of my face and my T-zone. So just rub that in. Now I'm getting my foundation, which is NARS Cadiz. And I find that the shade has become a little bit lighter than it usually was, but it still works for me. And I'm using two pumps of that. Leg Sue, and I'm using my new favourite brushes, this is one of them, um, it's Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman, and this is the buffing brush I think, or the blending brush, or something like that, and I'm just stippling it on first, and then I'm going to be blending it, and um, it may look a bit pale, but as it oxidises, and then by the time I set my makeup, it, it works. And it matches my chest, which is what I want. It doesn't match my forehead. My forehead is a bit darker, and certain areas of my face are slightly more pigmented. But um, it gives me the, the look that I want, which is matching my chest, because I do wear, like, tank tops a lot and stuff like that. So, yeah. Just blending that all over and um, making sure I cover, like, the bottom half of my face and my cheeks more, because that's where I have a lot of discoloration and unevenness of the skin and then I literally only use a little bit on my forehead like I use whatever was left on the brush and tap off the excess onto the back of my hand so hardly any goes on my forehead now I'm setting my makeup with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in dark and I'm using the same brush and I'm not going for like a heavily set look I'm just going to buffer a little bit of this on as it's got more of an orangey red undertone it brings a little bit of that natural undertone that I have in my forehead back to my skin so it kind of um, consolidates the base and, and makes me look a little bit more tanned than what I actually am and I love it and it's great but still matching my neck then I'm getting this other brush by uh, Samantha Chapman and I can't remember what it's called I think it's the contour brush I love it it's so multi-purpose and I'm using a sleek foundation tester I can't remember the colour I'll put that in the bottom bar and I'm using it as a concealer to conceal my under eye circles and to also as a highlight on my cheeks. So I'm putting it quite far down and bringing it onto the high, po high points of my cheek as well. Now I'm thinking what I'm going to do next because I was a bit stuck at this point as to what makeup I wanted to apply. And I think I'm thinking Egyptian. I'll do an Egyptian look. So I'm looking for a, a neutral eyeshadow colour to kind of start this look off and I'm using this natural collection one and it's milk chocolate and I love this with a Sigma brush it's a blending brush I can't remember what code it is but yeah and I'm just dusting that all over my lid um, and just getting it in there real good now I'm using my sleek contour kit and using the contour shade on the same brush and working that into my crease for definition and just giving my eyes that little bit of a pop because I didn't really want to use too much eyeshadow. Now I'm using this NYX uh, eyeliner in black, which I love. I love this eye pencil. I got it for free from Love Makeup when I ordered the Samantha Chapman brushes. And I'm just putting that on my waterline and on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to be doing a little bit of a flick by the tear duct. You'll see it. There we go. And I'm putting that on quite thick. But you'll see exactly how I do it. Now I'm setting it with this black eyeshadow by Beauty UK which I've had for years and I love it on a flat um, stiff shader brush and I'm going to press that in just to add intensity and to you know make it last longer and I'm bringing it out slightly to create a wing as well so it's going to be winged on both the outer edge and the inner tear duct of my eye as I wanted that kind of Cleopatra-esque look and I'm also going to feather it up slightly into my upper lash line. And it's going to act as a base for my liquid eyeliner. So just pushing that in along the roots of the eyelashes. Not very much. Then I'm shaking up my favourite uh, liquid liner of the moment, which is Rimmel Exaggerate. And I'm going to put a thin line of that all along my upper lash line and flick it out on top of the eyeshadow that I did. Um... And also connect it into the inner tear duct as well, which you'll see in a moment. 
so yeah I'm just going right along and um, getting it really into the lash line not making it too thick at all but then bringing it out of the tear duct which I love I love this look it's a very bottom heavy look the drama is on the bottom lash and I wanted the upper lash and um, the upper lid to remain quite uh, neutral and not too dramatic so that done I'm just neating in up underneath my eye I think there may have been a bit of fallout I don't know or I just wanted to reduce some shadow love these brushes by the way I'm probably going to do a review on them as well a little bit on my cupid's bow for a bit of highlight using the same kind of brush um the blending brush or the the buffing brush using ambering rose by mac which is a beautiful blush for women of color um and for anyone really but specifically on a browner complexion i think this looks particularly nice and i'm doing quite a natural blush application wanting it to look a little bit messier then using l'oreal's million lashes volume million lashes and just a thin coat of that. Um, I use it on top and bottom lashes. And I'm saying to myself I don't know what I'm going to do. And I don't know if I'm going to show this on YouTube. Um, scratching my nose because I've got an itchy nose. And um, what am I doing now? Um, Alright. Getting a little bit of my sleek contour um, shade. And kind of using it to bronze a little bit. And blend out any harsh lines or edges. And my hair's out again and poofy and I'm dancing. And this kind of uh, look reminded me of Bridget Bardot. I think that's her name. I was looking at pictures of her as well and this kind of reminded me of her. But yeah, I'm using this lipstick by Avon and I'm pressing it into my lip. And I've been loving this application method. I haven't really been applying lipstick straight out the bullet recently. I've been kind of pressing it on. I love that look. And it looks like a stain. And uh, now I'm using Asteroid by Natural Collection, again one of my favourites, and I'm going to be using this to add an antiqued effect to my lips, so it doesn't just look like a burgundy, it looks almost antiqued and slightly rustic, rustic or rusty or whatever, but you'll see how it looks. Looks a bit muddy and antiqued. Then because that's kind of dried my lips out a bit, I'm using this Revlon lipstick in peach and pressing that on because I, I like this lipstick, it's quite... It's not very moisturising, but it adds a bit of moisture back to the lips. Yeah, love that. Then I'm filling in my brows, but I decided to do it in my big mirror because my Mac screen was too small. And there's the look, guys. Hope you like. Bye.